We've been telling you about the ongoing shortage of skilled workers facing both large and small businesses. The issue is also taking flight in the nation's aviation industry, which is struggling to find mechanics. Kate Rogers takes a look at what one high school in New York is doing to help close that gap. This isn't your typical high school shop class. At Aviation High School in Queens, New York, Teachers are training the industry's next generation of aviation maintenance technicians like Genesis Santana. A size up from the 11 30 seconds. The high school offers students an opportunity to obtain a high school diploma as well as two FAA certified licenses to enter directly into the workforce. Never in a million years would I think that I'd be working on a plane. I'd also be doing a regular high school curriculum, volunteering, doing so much and aviation high school like opened those doors for me. The school's role is important as Boeing estimates some 750,000 technicians will be needed around the globe in the next two decades. The job can pay some $70,000 a year, including benefits without a college degree. These are highly skilled jobs. They come with training that keeps you current and keeps you ready for the future. And it's an exciting industry doing things that are important for our nation's economy, but also for our nation's security. The aviation industry is facing a growing set of challenges, including an aging workforce, a gender gap, and a lack of STEM-educated workers as it seeks to fill these important roles. Lori DeMarco, who now works as Director of Supply Chain and Material Operations at JetBlue, was the first woman to attend aviation high school. She says there's also a perception problem within the industry that the airline and others are working to change. A lot of parents want their kids to be in white collar jobs and so they don't as much encourage their kids to work with their hands. So I think that's why there's a smaller pipeline. So I think we have to, as in the industry, we have to do a better job at partnering with the schools. There are other challenges in hiring, including overnight shifts with off hours. But technicians like Diana Rodriguez, a JetBlue apprentice, say ensuring passenger safety okay. means the job is both important and exciting. To me, safety is the top priority. I mean, you can have your family member, your friends flying on the plane. You never know. So safety is number one. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Kate Rogers in Queens, New York.